So you have set up your Starlink Mini or even Standard and now you have connected it to a TP link or some Wi-Fi extender at home but the speed feels half of what you expected and you are paying 57,000 Naira for this, right? The problem might not be your Starlink. Each time you connect to Wi-Fi from the Starlink dish, you get top speed but the moment you connect to your TP link, you get half of the speed. This exactly is the problem, your cable and I'm going to address it in this video so if you want to solve that problem please stay right to the end of this video now today's video is brought to you by stargate your trusted source for high performance starlink accessories from flat eden cables to magnetic mounts and power adapters stargear harms your setup with reliability and clean design every of their product is plug and play built for durability in all weather Let's get right into the video. Hello guys, I am AY Excellent and this is AY Excellent Tech. I've been using Starlink for some time now and of course I told you how I splitted my network in the home so everybody in the house can connect from every part of the house. Today I'm going to do a new setup that is going to feel faster and it's going to be better than what I have before. So for my Starlink Mini, I'm going to plug it into an internet adapter from Stargear and then from there into my switch in my office. Now one cable is going to run to my TP link in the living room and another one goes straight into my MacBook with Ethernet to USB-C adapter. And of course, this is going to make my MacBook faster when browsing the internet. So it will look as though I am using cable connectivity because of course, every time you lose network, you lose speed when you are using Wi-Fi. So I believe that um, with this cable, I'm going to get the best speed the highest speed we can actually get. So we'll be doing the dismantling and of course I'll be testing my internet speed now currently, what it is now before we start dismantling and recoupling everything back. So this was the speed we got from the TP-Link. Now let's let's be sure we're connected to AY Excellent Starlink. So now we'll test our speed again and see what we're getting. So you see the difference so we are getting about 152, 129, 120. So it was peaking at 158, the download speed. And look at the upload. The upload is peaking at around 25, thereabouts. So you definitely discover that if what you only have in your room or in your house is the TP link with a bad cable or a not well crimped cable, then definitely you are losing out on something. So that is what we are going to stop today. All right, I'll see you outside. So I'll be removing this. We will remove this and see what we've got here. So one of the ways to, to actually know if the cable you are using is gigabit is the crimping. So let's test. This jumped from one to three, then jumped to six, and then jumped to seven. That's the reason why the speed we are getting inside is actually very slow. So normally if you move from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 to, uh, to 8. And so you will know that your cable is good. That means this cable is problematic. Let's have the star gear flat cable. I've tested this earlier and um, we actually have good, I mean, it's, it's, it is gigabit enabled, although flat and uh, but it is gigabit enabled one other thing we can do is let's let's add that star gear ethernet adapter to it first this this can actually help you to i mean extend your network extend your cable i'm going to use this if you have two of this if you have two of this you can actually extend a cable like you have two rj45 or ethernet cable you can extend them so you join one wire to the other and it will work perfectly if you have two of this but of course it is one that we have so we'll, we'll attach it to this and so water will not even at any point be able to enter into our starlink all right having talked about that there's one other thing i'd like to introduce starlink is as good as the accessory you pair with it now this is star gear starlink mini liquid silicon case um, is a defender it will help to protect your Starlink. Now, this is a reflective cover. 
you can actually put it on the face of your starling but if you are putting it in the sun like this it is not necessary for you to put it because this guy can cause it i mean it can attract a lot of it so it is best when you are going for camping so this protector is going to be for the starling mini and then of course if you want to get that of the um standard you can actually get it through the link in the description of the video one other thing we can do to help our starling is probably let me clean the face but look at this this is gorgeous this is gorgeous so imagine having your starling up like this this is beautiful it will protect it from a lot of things i mean the sun to protect it from um what is it called moisture that's from the rain and um, easily your starling work at best um, capability so we already have this as an adapter um, all i just need to do to add as an extra layer is i'm going to insert all this into it because we are covering it like this so where this guy is taking network from is shielded like perfectly shielded this goes in like this in fact it makes it sturdy and then um, no movement at all so you can remove this rubber if you wish to but now we plug this in here plug this beautiful as plugged we will we will screw this in did you see how protected we are this one goes in here no water no water will be able to touch the network cable i mean connectors then this covers it all right so we're mounting back uh, all right of course you will have to go through the alignment process again and again so let's just type so having passed the cable in this is the next thing to do of course we'll do a speed test of both um the cable connection to the tp link and of course we'll do the connection directly to the starlink um dish for those who have been asking that i remove this for my channel members i'm removing it for you so nice. i love the feeling actually so we'll be plugging this right into our internet ports internet ports so this is what we feed our internet so it will it for some few seconds you will see red and when it can read it it will turn on green so we are on the internet now we're live so we'll be testing this with the starlink dish that is just behind us and we'll test this also we are connected currently to ay excellent starlink so let's see what the speed test will give us for this we'll get one zero one hundred and something 120 something and it came down gradually to about 70 and 50 78 there about 80 on a good afternoon so the upload speed goes as high as 40 mbps with a latency of about 23 milliseconds so all right, so we have 81.9, 39.1. Now, we will do tests on both my phone and on the PC to check um, the connection to this. So we will click on it at the same time. One, two, go. My phone is climbing as high as 74, while the system is just at 26. To tell you that actually your speed is fast, but of course, you know, there's a way system does its things. So um, sometimes um, I even like to, to work with my Microsoft because of the speed I get on MacBook. But let's 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 do another test. This is 74.3 and 28.6 as upload. Let's do again on the Mac. We're having like 90 Mbps, 67 coming down to 67. So 68. So 68.1. Now this is not far-fetched from what you get when you connect to the starlink dish now imagine you are having this in your home in your house like you are not you can't access the starlink dish 
but this is what you can assess then that's perfect and mind you i am connected to the 2.4 giga at speed so i think for your sake let me do let me split my network and do a a 5 gigahertz speed test so we'll do the two together and see how it goes i'm going to connect to my tp link 5 gigahertz this is currently the tp link 2.4 gigahertz so let me connect to the 5 gigahertz and we will test the speed and i will also test it on the 2.4 so that we can check the difference you see it's giving us 185 mind you i'm connected to a cable that entered into starlink so cable to another router 140 something 139 like crazy amazing speed now of course i know that there may be speeds of other uh, provider that is higher than that but the reason why i'm getting this on my network and um, speed tests at this time is because of this target cable it is flat you can go under a door you can you can actually tuck it into anywhere so this is to test that of course we tested on macbook and iphone and we saw the speed we got so we are now testing on microsoft and we're using the 2.4 gigahertz band and um, the 5.0 gigahertz band and then we are getting this crazy amazing speed let's do the 2.4 gigahertz band i'll change my network okay we're connected to this now so let's do speed test let's go to speed test again it's taking a longer time for it to load but then it's loading that's 2.4 gigahertz band so but it's normal expect a faster speed from the 5.0 i always allow it to finish loading before i click go we are getting above 100 mbps this is 121 122 125 126 this is amazing speed this speed i don't get it or i don't get it before on my um system whether system whether um, um my iphone or whatever i don't get it because the cable i was using is not well connected so this is the major problem for some of you who says your extender speed is slow so this is just to show you and tell you that uh, you may have been losing a lot of things because you are not using a good cable one last thing now look at this this is a um, an ethernet adapter type c to ethernet adapter what i will do now is that i'm going to remove this from here i'll remove this from here and i'm going to plug it in here this is gigabit enabled so that means you can get up to 1000 mbps from this so we will plug it directly into the system and i will disconnect from of course you know that this tp link will not have internet again you know instantly we are connected now the first thing i would like you to check let's disconnect from starlink like let me disconnect this from tp link and disconnect from starlink it will let me just off wi-fi let's turn off the wi-fi so you know we are connected to this cable now and that's what we use to browse the internet now link speed can you see it the link speed is 1000 mbps if it is not gigabit enabled you will not see 1000 mbps you will not see 1000 mbps now let's let's do a speed test 170 180 can you please clock 200 like it's crazy this is this is really fast this is really fast so it can peak at about 180 mbps that's crazy 180 mbps and you get an upload speed of 25 mbps it is it's beautiful so you know that there's nothing that is limiting your network it is whatever you are getting from the starlink you will also get from your tp link or whichever um i mean network device you are connected to this will really help a lot it will save you a lot of stress and um, of course Time. from all the tests we have done you will see that starlink is powerful but one thing i've come to learn is that starlink is only as good as the accessories you pair with it that's where star gear comes those in. guys don't just make random hats on. they design purpose-built accessory for starlink users the ethernet adapter the slim flat cable even their protective cases they are all engineered to fix the real pain point we face every day ship cables shock your speed weak cases can survive travel generic adapters don't just fit right but with star gear you get gigabit ready cables waterproof connectors 
and rugged cases that actually extend the life and performance of your styling gear. So instead of patching together on reliable third party fixes, Stag Gear basically a future proves your setup. You can get any of the Stag Gear accessories for your styling by using the link in the description of this video. By that, you are supporting this channel. Thank you very much for doing that. The link is in the description. Now stay tuned for my next video also on how I'll be testing the protective case that I got from Stag Gear. Now drop a comment if your extender has been slow and don't forget to like and subscribe for more real Nigerian styling reviews. Thank you. I'll see you again.